Yo, how's it going YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video here on my channel. And today we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new and currently unreleased Dinger Jester Classic. And obviously this is based on a Supra. And if we have a look on the outside, it does look pretty, pretty cool, man. Uh, there is a couple of things that I'm not overly keen on. Obviously we've got the lights at the back which is just a flat texture which I'm really disappointed in that looks a bit fucking funky and uh, also I've noticed that here on the passenger side we have no glass in the headlight yeah so hopefully Rockstar will fix that um, by the time it is actually officially released in the game but like I said we'll be customizing and reviewing it today uh, we'll be taking it into LS Customs see what sort of customizations we've got and then finally take it for a little drive and see if we can determine whether this is going to be a competitor in the sports classic class so without any further ado guys let's get into it so you go my bros as you pull into ls customs you'll see the dinker just a classic is in the sports classic category now as always guys we're going to start this build with 100 percent body armor. we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper we're going to start with the front bumper and oh my fucking lord that looks awful it looks absolutely fucking terrible that's just as bad that's that's okay that's pretty good and then we've got the street build with uh, the working turbo at the front which is a, a nice touch nice addition um, so yeah my favorites are the carbon splitter and then obviously the exact same but then we've got the exposed uh, turbo at the front next we're going to go to the rear bumper again we don't have too many options and the options we do have are pretty weak to be honest for the rear oh, yeah fuck it man for the rear I'm just going to stay stock not a massive fan of what we have um, available to us for the rear bumper then we're going to go to the chassis uh, it's just a roll cage we've got a secondary cage the chrome cage then we've got the one with the racing seats and the chrome one with the racing seats so even the interior is pretty pretty poor it's just them recycled racing seats in there the red ones which are you know the, the fucking sort of seats you get with the original um, cars in GTA which is really disappointing you'd expect something a little bit um, more with this build to be honest with well, with this car sorry should I say and to be honest I think the the stock seats actually look a lot nicer than the racing seats um, so what we are going to do we are just going to go with a secondary cage then for the exhaust man these exhausts are ugly <laughs> real fucking ugly they're not much better but they are better at least and then we've got the chrome ones as well um, but these chrome ones yeah they I'd say they look the best so we're going to go with those bad boys then for the hood We've got loads of options for the hood, man, which is cool. Um, so we've got a secondary hood. So these are a little bit nicer. At least we can give some sort of detail to the hood, which is good. Nice. So that takes me back to the uh, the classic Supra from Fast and the Furious 1 uh, with that cutout, which is pretty cool. We'll probably go with that one, to be fair. And we've got it also in car carbon as well, which is good. So yeah, we're going to go with a performance hood. Then we're going to move to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then we've got the respray, primary color. We're going to go metallic because I don't think there's any liveries for this uh, for this car. Black actually looks really good. I'm actually really digging the black for this. But we're going to go with a carbon black. Got that little white whitish pearlescent in there as well. So yeah, we're going to go carbon black for the primary color. Then for the secondary color, I believe this is going to just change the the uh, roll cage and the wing mirrors maybe. But we'll find out. We're going metallic also got stone silver at the minute and it does it is changing exactly that so i'm thinking maybe we'll probably just go the same fuck it man we'll just go the same we'll go carbon black and then we're going to move on to the trim color at the moment we've got stone silver and does it, change? it does change something on the seat as well which is pretty cool maybe we'll go with i don't know something that's not black <laughs> maybe like uh oh no red oh no oh no what have i done the steering wheel changes as well that is fucking terrible what the fuck yeah we're, we're just gonna go um go go graphite for that so next we're then gonna move on to the roof so we've got the stock roof we also get a roof scoop which is pretty cool very 90s and then we've got the secondary and then the carbon version of that as well so we're just gonna go with the uh the primary roof scoop for the side skirts we only get one option and that is the extended that's uh well that's good enough for me that's all we need for the spoiler, we get quite a few options for the spoiler. I do kind of like this lip spoiler. We've got a stock, but we are going to change it out. That's a little bit nicer as well, actually. The the boot the boot lip spoiler. I actually prefer that to the stock. After saying that, that's pretty cool. 
so the, the spoilers are actually quite nice that suits it quite nicely as well even though I'm not really a fan of these usually um, that is fucking just ridiculous that's far too big as well so these big spoilers I'm not a massive fan of that one actually, actually doesn't look too bad so we're going to go with a wing type 2 then for the suspension we are going to go with a race suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and a turbo tuning then for the wheels guys we're going to go wheel type I think we're going to go with sport with these ones and wow they actually look really good really good actually and uh, you would notice that these aren't the actual wheels rockstar wheels by the way these are um aftermarket mods that have replaced the existing wheels with so these are real life wheels not really sure what they are called in real life but in this they're called inferno and uh, i'm gonna grab them man they look fucking sweet and to finish off the build as always we are going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my dudes there is my build on the brand new currently unreleased jester classic and I think, man, it actually looks really good. What I've done to it looks really nice. It sounds amazing. Um, in black, all black, it looks really, really good. Um, like I said, there are some missed opportunities with this. Because um, there's no livery option, which is a massive shame. They could have bought at least a, you know one or two liveries to it. Um, overall, I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, there are the bits at the back, them rear lights are really irritating. Uh, it's just laziness from Rockstar. They could have made them so much better. Um, the customization on it isn't great, but it's okay. I mean, what I've done to it, I think, in my opinion, I've chose the best options, and it's actually came out okay. Um, but mainly, uh, hopefully, <laughs> Rockstar fixes that um, that headlight there with, no, with the no glass. I hope, hopefully, they fix that, and um, hopefully, they fix these rear lights as well. But other than that, it actually looks okay. It's not too bad. I think they have missed a missed a. An opportunity with this though when they could have made a maybe like a Benny's vehicle give it a shit ton of customization with more um, bumpers more skirts better spoilers um, maybe if you know a few liveries and stuff like that so yeah I think in that aspect they have missed a step with it but what we've got for the price I think it's only around about eight hundred thousand um, dollars which I think isn't too bad to be honest uh, especially in today's GTA climate um, so yeah, I think overall it is pretty cool, and um, you know everyone has been waiting for a super in in GTA for such a long time, and it sounds awesome. And according to my speedo, it is actually quite fast. So now, now this is where it becomes a little bit difficult because I'm going to have to multitask and look at the speedo whilst driving. <laughs> so um, see how quick that got up to 90 miles an hour. So um, I've, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that this is going to be a very quick car. Whether it's going to rival the top dog in the sports classics car um, class is yet to be seen. I believe that is the Turismo Classic, which is top dog at the minute. But this is actually, I don't know, I think this might rival it. Let's just put, the, put our boot down and see, well, we'll see what we can get out of it. See, most cars in the game only reach 120. They max out 120. And that's including sport, you know, top end sports cars and supercars. And I think this car is pretty much the same. But for a sports classic, reaching 120 with ease, actually, it, it kind of hits 120, then it caps out. It doesn't go any higher than that. So um, you know, I'm happy with that. You know, it's not overly slow, but it's not mega mega fast either. But um, would I recommend this car? I think I would, because like I said, it's not crazy priced I mean I'm not 100% sure on the actual price of it but I think it's around $800,000 so with customization you're probably looking at about a mil for this but on the other hand it is one of them vehicles that we've been waiting for for a long long time to be released and um, other than the the headlight at the front which I think will be fixed you know upon release and obviously the the rear lights Hopefully they do something in them rear lights, man, because they are just truly terrible. But other than that, I think it actually looks really, really nice. It drives quite nicely, and as we can see, it is pretty fast too. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, and also subscribe to my channel if you are new. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.